So I wanted to share um, a little bit about uh, an experience that I had uh, uh, during uh, this morning's TM Transcendental Meditation moment. Uh, that's a new one for me. Um, so I started TM about probably about a month ago now, almost to the day, uh, down at Warrior Path. Um, and from initiation week and just putting in a lot of effort in different environments around a stimuli, you know, I was able to get pretty far under, but as, as soon as got back here at home and kind of things normalized a little bit, uh, like instantly, like my head would go down and I would just drop down. Um, but what's interesting is lately what's been happening is I've found breathing to be much easier. Uh, especially during the TM session, but in general, my my breathing has improved. My lung capacity feels uh, different and better, um, kind of more well-tuned. Uh, and I can feel it kind of in here. I don't know if it's the diaphragm, but um, I, I started using my, my mantra again, or... I guess in a different way, understanding that every TM session is going to be different. It's going to have its own highs and lows, strengths and weaknesses. And I think for me, it's just accepting, accepting that and accepting that this is a small journey that I don't really have complete control over. So I relate it being to water. Uh, for me being to water flowing through and being able to navigate some of these thoughts that come in during a TM session and recognizing it and instead of putting 90% into that thought understanding that it just flo it can float by it can come in and then leave just as easily um, so I had a TM session this morning on that note and my mind started to go sort of sort of blank and sort of white spotty um, and I saw images of was and I've avoided thinking about this for a while but uh, last night or excuse me this TM session um, you know he was in you know, what he normally would have been in, uh, tan cargo pants, um, kind of loose, uh, some flip-flops, maybe a t-shirt or something, uh, you know, and, and still remembering his laugh, but I remember feeling happy. Uh, I remember feeling content and happy and just super thankful to see him, um, and to be able to tell him that I'm thankful and grateful to have been part of his life uh, and to have been a small part of a, a bigger thing that, you know, helped him when he needed help and um, instead of feeling that pain and that sorrow, I'm just... It, it, I'm starting to realize that it's more um, more content and happiness uh, that I was part of his life there at the end and part of his daughter's life and his extended family and, and EOD friends. Um, it's an experience that I'll, I'll cherish for the rest of my life. And just in this TM session, being able to have a moment where it actually felt real. It wasn't like a dream um, where I never really have control. This one, my, I was myself and 
I was able to give him a hug and just tell him how much that we loved him. Um, and I think that was just something that um, I'm very thankful for. I've never had that in a TM session or, or in any other sp mindfulness, meditative, breathing, whatever session. Um, so I felt that this was an opportunity to use some of my fancy toys and record this experience uh, instead of writing it down. Um, I just think I communicate better that way. Um, before pre-warrior path, you know, I, I would have had a hard time sitting here talking to a camera. But um, I think post now I now I am seeing things quite differently in some areas. So um, yeah, it was a it was a powerful experience. And I wanted to share that with the with the rest of the group. So let me know if you have any questions.